Hi everyone, how are you guys doing? Hope you all are doing great, keeping warm and staying healthy. At least in the northern hemisphere, you guys are all keeping warm because it's kind of cold right now, at least in Spain. So in my last video, I talked about um, on a very high level what back flower system is and we also talked about uh, the different, um, sorry, the 38 different flower essences that are the very fundamentals of the this healing modality. In this video, I intend to show you all the 38 flower essences. Yes, all of them, and I do have all of them. However, before I show you the flower essences, I would like to remind you of the seven groups of uh, negative emotions. Remember, we talked about them in, the, in my last video. If you are new to my video and do not understand what I am talking about, I highly recommend that you pause this video and go back to my channel and watch the previous one. It also is the very first video on this channel so far. So I would recommend you to watch that video first because in that video I talk about how this healing system came into practice, who did it, how he managed to reach this point in his life and, and, and also the fundamentals and the philosophies of this particular healing system itself. So if you watch the previous one in this video, it would be easier for you to understand what I'm referring to because I'm going to show the flowers in groups and the seven groups. Um, so what are these seven groups that I'm referring to again and again? Uh, these are the seven groups of so-called negative or uncomfortable emotions. Fears, uncertainty or instability, um, the third one being insufficient interest in present circumstances. Fourth one, loneliness. Fifth, uh, oversensitivity to external influences and ideas. Despondency and despair. And overcare for welfare of others. So these are the seven groups of negative or uncomfortable emotions that all of us at one point or the other uh, go through. Sometimes a combination of all of these, sometimes just one would be highlighted or very intense. In this video, I would show you the seven groups of flower essences that we can use to work with the seven groups of uncomfortable emotions. So, let's go. So, as you can see, this is the whole set of flower essences packed in two boxes and uh, 10 in each row that makes them 40 bottles however as you can see these two here they are the exact same essences and this is not a pure essence this is a mix of flower essences so it has got five essences in it and that is why it is called five flowers it is commonly known as a rescue essence or just rescue remedy it's quite popular quite famous and you can look it up online you'll find lots and lots of information on rescue remedy so these are the if you if you remove these two then 38 essences so you have seen all the 38 essences and in this video although I would like to give you one-liners or just some keywords about each of these essences but I would I know for sure that I would end up saying a little bit more than one-liners so please bear with me and I'm going to share my experience with these flower essences so far with you as briefly as possible in this video so stay with me so these are all the seven groups of flower essences to work with the seven groups of negative emotions. The very first being this group is for fears, uncertainty, insufficient interest in the present moment, loneliness, then this is um, sensitivity to external influences and ideas, despondency and despair, and welfare um, over care for welfare of others so this is aspen 
Aspen is for when one is apprehensive or fearful but is not sure of what he is scared of. He is just assuming or, uh, you know, kind of fearing that something bad is going to happen but is don't know what it is. We can give him Aspen. The next one is Cherry Plum. Cherry Plum is given when one is suicidal, whether one wants to harm himself or someone else. How in any case, he wants he is in a risk of causing extreme damage to himself or someone else. Mimalus is for known fears, that is fear of snakes, fear of uh, spiders, or fear of public speaking, fear of exams, fear of traffic, and the rest of it. When we already know what is making us fearful. Red chestnut is for someone uh, that is. Um, worried and fearful but not for himself but for his loved ones for example a mother is uh, fearful that something might have gone wrong with her kids when they are not home on time so red chestnut could be advised to her in those situations rock rose is given to someone when he is in extreme terror he might be sweating or shivering or just frozen out of fear rock rose is for in those situations. The next category is uncertainty. So the very first one in this category is Serato. Serato is given when one is not sure of his or her own judgment and he keeps asking others, be it friends, family or colleagues, uh, he or she might have already decided on something yet he has to seek for opinions from others and is not able to make up his mind. That is when we can advise Serato. Skel uh, sorry, it is Scleranthus. I, I always mispronounce it. It's Scleranthus. Scleranthus is given to one that is kind of in a similar situation like in Serato, but this person does not ask others. Rather, he is he suffers within himself. It could be one might be uh, confused in um, among several options or to go somewhere or not to go or this job or that job you know like when there are several options or more than one option and the person is not sure what to do neither does he seek for advice from others we can give scleranthus to him gentian is given to someone that is easily upset by any any external um, activity uh, someone not picking up the phone or failing an exam or having too much traffic or reaching late on a particular appointment or anything easily upset now that that upset could be expressed in anger annoyance irritation being silent or anything you know but the person is actually uh, upset for reasons that are not so severe Gorse is something a bit more intense than gentian. So Gorse is like one is on has already lost all expectations, all hopes and doesn't see any hope. <laughs> At the end of the tunnel it's like, you know, I have exa sorry, I have uh, failed the exam. So nothing good can happen to me. Uh, I don't see anything any point in doing anything else because I have failed an exam. So something like that. When one is uh, totally hopeless, uh, uh, we can give them gauze. He might pick up something else but think that I'm doing it because my friend has suggested me to do so but what's the point anyway nothing is going to change so that is the situation when we can advise cause hornbeam is um, a remedy that is given when someone gets tired of doing kind of nothing um, in the sense one is um, you know, you wake up in the morning and feel, oh my God, I have to do this, 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 or I have to go to work, I have to go to college, I have to go to, I have to cook. You know, you, you have no interest in the present circumstances and you want to get back to sleep. You are tired and fed up of routine and, and in those scenarios, like you're already exhausted and tired just by thinking of the day, but haven't really done anything. It is, uh, you know, more like morning uh, blues, Monday morning blues. Sorry, I said morning blues. No, I mean Monday morning blues. Uh, the feeling is something similar, 
but it is more than um, on a specific Monday. It could be something that is happening almost day, every day. So the next one is uh, wild oat. Wild oat is for someone that is lost in life, doesn't know what he wants to do or what he can do in career, spe specifically in career. So maybe someone has studied engineering, but after working in the engineering field for 10 years, he's lost interest and now he wants to do something else, but has absolutely no clue what he can do, although he might be passionate about painting and, and um, I don't know. Uh, sports but he doesn't feel that sports or painting could be a good option for career so we could give wild oat in this situation so that he can find his uh, passion or zeal in life and move forward in life the next category would be insufficient interest in present circumstances the first one in this category is clematis Clematis is given to one when one is always daydreaming, not, uh, imagining things and living in imaginary world. The second one is honeysuckle. Honeysuckle is the opposite of clematis. That is when one is living in the past, in the memories or in the good old days. Could, could be adolescence, uh, childhood or adulthood when one is old. It mainly we see this uh, nostalgic thing in the elder generation. They, they think about the, their younger days and often, you know, like kind of get nostalgic about what they used to have and, and no more have. So honeysuckle is advised in those situations. The next one is wild rose. Wild rose is given to someone when he or she has no interest whatsoever in the present circumstances. He is neither living in the future nor in the past and never in the present. He has just no interest in anything. He talks in a flat tone. He makes statements like whatever, life is like this. Um, uh, this is what it is. He takes no interest, no attempt makes no attempt in life to make anything better uh, he's just he's just lost interest in life be it past present or future he is nowhere that's when we give wild rose next one is olive olive is given to someone that feels exhausted or tired after a hard day's work it could be work studies research anything it's just one is really tired and doesn't want to think about what is happening right now the next one is white chestnut. White chestnut is given to the one that is moving in a circle in his head that is worried and thinking about the same things in a loop. Repetitive thoughts and getting worried and anxious about it. That is when white chestnut is given. Mustard is given to one when he is in um, he's depressed but doesn't know why he is depressed although everything might seem going well and smooth and kind of positive yet the person feels depressed that is when we suggest mustard chestnut bud is given to someone that makes the same mistakes again and again for example <laughs> For women, falling for the same guy or similar type of guy again and again and again. Uh, make, making the similar mistakes in a job position and hence um, losing the promotion opportunities. Something like that. So when we are making the same mistakes and, and, and we are not able to come out of a pattern, we can suggest chestnut bud. The next category is loneliness. In this category, the first one is water violet. Water violet is given to the one that feels uh, kind of proud and aloof and very silent in nature, doesn't um, uh, socialize so much, although deep down he feels lonely and wants to be with people but is not able to open up to his friends or family or even romantic partners. That's when we could give water violet. Impatience is given to the one that is impatient in everything. Heather is given to the one that is really talkative and talks and talks about himself, his issues, or his friends, his loved ones. He doesn't actually give 
uh, a space to the other person to talk he just talks about his he just talks about himself and the things that interest him he, he just needs an audience and he will keep talking so that's the situation when people kind of try to run away from this person and in turn he gets more and more lonely so heather is given to the in those scenarios the next category being oversensitivity to external influences and ideas in this agrimony is the first one agrimony is given to one uh, who is not able to express his emotions or what he thinks or feels. Instead, he hides everything that he feels by humor. The person could be extrovert or it can he can also be introvert, but usually we have seen people being extrovert mostly. They always make fun. They are these... They've, you know, they pretend as if their life is so happening, so cool... Uh, they never express any anything that is upsetting. They avoid talking about anything that is not so good. Instead, they mask everything with humor and jokes and the rest of it. Next one is Centauri. Centauri is given to the one that is gentle and seemingly meek, but actually not. Uh, they're just too too naive to pick up any fight or conflict and hence say yes to everything. They usually become, you know, the victims of the aggressive ones because they, they kind of lack the assertiveness. Walnut is given to the ones, actually we can all use walnut. Walnut is uh, given when one gets easily influenced by television, radio, newspaper, internet, or even people that are surrounding and talking about different things, upsetting things, and the one that is listening or absorbing all that information gets influenced. So that's when walnut is given. Holly is given to the one that gets upset, sorry, that gets angry, suspicious, jealous. Those are the emotional traits to give Holly. The next category being despondency or despair. And the first one in this category is large. Large is given to the one that has very little self-confidence. So low that he would not even try to participate and pick up something because he has already accepted that he would not win. That's the scenario when we give large. M is given to the one that is usually confident, but then the work pressure or the burden or volume of work is so much that he is no more confident if he can do it anymore. That's when we give L. Pine is given to the one that has guilt. Now this guilt could be anything. It could be coming down from generations or it could be guilt of being late. Uh, guilt of not taking care of someone, anything, any kind of guilt and self-blame is an indication to give pine. Sweet chestnut is given to the one that needs to grieve. For example, when there is a death in the family or separation from a loved one, uh, loss of money, loss of something that is really near and dear to one and the, the person is not able to grieve or is, does not see any light um, at the end of the tunnel uh, because he has lost something that great. So that is when we can suggest sweet chestnut and this remedy would help the person to grieve and accept what has happened. That is sweet chestnut. Star of Bethlehem is given to the one that is in a shock. Uh, any kind of shock and trauma, be it recent or something that has happened a long time ago, can be healed with Star of Bethlehem. Willow. Willow is um, given to the one that is, you know, resentful, um, is, has uh, bitterness and is always blaming others, doesn't take responsibility for his own actions and words, basically living uh, a victim life or victimhood life you know that kind the next one is oak oak is for the ones that uh, do not let go of their project 
even when it is normal working. For example, someone is trying to move a mountain and even after trying for five years, ten years, he sees that the mountain does not move and he doesn't move as well. So basically he doesn't let go of his projects or purposes or tasks that he is into and he keeps trying and trying and trying. So that's the scenario we can suggest oak and crab apple is given to uh, the one that is that has fear of anything um no sorry i said it wrong uh, crab apple is given to the one that is that cleans all the time or puts things in order uh, has skin in sorry has skin infection takes several sh showers a day and is kind of germ phobic kind of he is he always thinks that something is going to uh, infect him. So this remedy is given to the ones to cleanse uh, whatever the person is fearful of. It is also given uh, to cleanse any kind of physical fresh wound. The next one and the last one is over care for welfare of others. In this category, the first one is rock water. Rock water is kind of, you know, somebody that lives a sainthood kind of a life. Like he doesn't say anything, doesn't criticize others, but lives a very righteous life himself and does things, does the right things properly. And he wants others to follow him just by looking at him, but he would never openly say anything or criticize anyone. That is rock water. Beach is given to the one that is always criticizing others. Uh, for example, saying unpleasant things for others about neighbors or his friends, colleagues or whoever. For example, saying, like, saying things like, this guy is so stupid or that person is so ignorant. So making those unpleasant uh, comments about others and not trying to understand the other person's situation is a uh, situation where we could beach in. The next one being vine. Vine is given to the one that is very aggressive and uh, always suggesting others what they should do and what they should not, irrespective of whether he himself follows those uh, strategies or not. And he's kind of quite aggressive in his mannerism. Usually the centauri people and the ones that are gentle and always say yes, they kind of become victim to this category, vine. The next one is vervin. Vervin also a bit like vine, but vervin uh, is not, doesn't do things for his own interest, whereas vine does. Vine is always focused and obsessed about his own interest. Vervin is for those that are... Um, focused on a good cause for others and they are not aggressive rather they are persuasive they will try to convince others um, in the way that he thinks that is vervain chikri is given to the one that is kind of you know obsessive or uh, controlling love uh, a mother saying i have done so much for you so now it's time that you give me back or, or somebody counting the number of times uh, he has cooked or done something good for someone else uh, and trying to prove his love. And basically, this a chicory person who wants to gain attention, love, affection by overdoing the same things to others and then instead of Letting it go, letting those people go, he actually demands love, attention and affection. And kind of, end of the day, starts feeling rejected, ignored, unloved and all those things. So these are all the seven categories and 38 essences. And in the upcoming videos, we will talk about these essences more in detail. You will see there are not only emotional indications, but there are physical indications as well. So that's all that I wanted to share in this video. 
I hope that you have enjoyed the information that I'm sharing. If there's anything specific that you would like to know, please let me know. Uh, this channel is dedicated to all the healing, uh, alternative healing tools. For example, bug flower system, tarot, crystals, meditations, uh, mantras, and the rest of them. I am very passionate about such things and I dedicate most of my time to learning and exploring such tools. So if there's anything in particular that you would like to know, please let me know uh, in the comments below. And soon I'll be back with another video. If this video has been helpful to you, please don't forget to like and share this video. Also comment anything that uh, you would like to comment on the video on the subject matter. Um, so that's about it. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye.